The Seattle CYO Volleyball Program for fourth grade is a timed match. Score is not kept. This is to encourage the players, coaches, and parents to focus on developing the skills of the game and to have fun without worrying about winning or losing. The goal is for each team to play as much as possible within 45 minutes. Each set will consist of 12 minutes of running time with three minutes between sets. Teams may or may not complete the third set because of the time constraints. So instead of a scorekeeper, the fourth graders will use a serve tracker. The serve tracker's responsibility is to make sure the correct player is serving, and to make sure no server serves more than three times in a row. CYO requires each team to provide a serve tracker. The two, the two trackers will work together to be sure the order of servers is accurately kept for their match. Each tracker needs the following equipment, three score sheets and two pens, typically a black or blue pen and also a red pen. Trackers begin with the black or blue pen, then after a full rotation on the court and a server comes up again to serve again, the tracker will switch to the red pen. If the game goes to the player serving a third time in the set, the tracker would go back to the black pen. The tracker will wait for the coin toss. The coin toss determines which team will serve first and which side they are on. The tracker shall fill in the location and time and date. The, t the team names on the respective sides and will mark the first serve box. Tracker will receive the lineup sheets from their coaches and enter the players' numbers for both teams in the exact order as they're listed on the lineup sheet. The tracker will note the captain of each team with a letter C by their number. Play will then begin and the clock will start with 12 minutes. Team yellow serves first, so player number 12 serves. Once the ball is contacted for a serve, a circle is made next to number 12. Here, team yellow wins the rally, so 12 will serve again. 12 serves and a circle is made next to the previous circle after the ball is served. The rally is lost. The serve moves to team green. To designate that the service is changing, an R for rotate is written in the circle. Team green rotates and green's first server is number 47. They serve and a circle is made next to 47 after the ball is served. The serve is missed or the rally is lost, so an R is written in the circle and the ball goes to team yellow, who rotates and the next server, number 13, serves. The circle is made after the ball is served. The rally is won. Number 13 serves again, another circle is made. The rally is won again. So number 13 serves once again and a third time a circle is made. In the fourth grade, a server may only serve three consecutive times during one service period. If a player serves a third time and the rally is won by that team, the team retains the serve and rotates to the next server. The tracker should notify the referee that the server has completed their three serves by raising their hand, showing three fingers. The team then moves to the next server and play continues. So on our tracking sheet, after player 13's third serve and the rally is won, Team Yellow now rotates to the next server. Since Team Yellow did not lose the serve, no R is written. Trackers move down to the next Team Yellow server, player five, and play continues. Five serves, the circle is made, and again, Team Yellow wins the rally. At this time, the coach for Team Green wants a timeout. They signal the referee who grants the timeout. The tracker then writes a TX on player five's line next to the last circle. It's written here to show exactly when in the set the timeout was called. The T means timeout, and the X means the non-serving team called it. If the serving team were to call the timeout, then there would be no X, just the T.
The tracker then needs to mark Team Green's first timeout box at the bottom of the middle column by placing a check in the top box. Note that there are just two timeout boxes for each team as they are only allowed two timeouts per set. At the end of the timeout, signal to the referee the number of timeouts each team has used, in this case, zero and one, notifying the referee if a team tries to take a third timeout. The tracker should also be checking to be sure the correct player is serving. In the fourth grade, the tracker will notify the referee as soon as they realize if it's the wrong server. If the tracker does not catch that, it's the wrong server until after the serve, that's all right. They would then notify the referee that the wrong player served, the correct server is moved into place, and they would then serve. In our game, here, after the timeout, player two goes back to serve. Five should be serving. The tracker will notify the referee that the wrong player served or is in place to serve. The team yellow would get their players back in the correct order with number five being the server and number two would be in the, in the place to serve next. In the fourth grade, there will be no penalty for the wrong server. Players are just put into their correct positions. Nothing needs to be written on the sheet to indicate a wrong server. Team yellow player number five serves. The circle is drawn, the rally is lost, so an R is placed on the circle and team green rotates to serve. Team green player number 19 now serves, the circle is made. The rally is won, so 19 serves again. Circle is drawn, serve is missed, so an R is placed in the circle and team yellow rotates, so player number two gets the serve, misses, and R is placed in the circle. Team green number 36 serves, circle, wins the rally, serves, circle, wins the rally, serves, circle wins the rally. Tracker signal the referee that's three serves. Team green keeps the serve, rotates, and now player 57 serves. Misses, so an R is placed in the circle. Team yellow rotates, and player six is the next server. If trackers make a mistake in drawing the circle or noting the rot rotation R, that's okay. Just cross out the error, write the correct play next to it. Mistakes are not erased, but crossed out and the correct play is writ re written beside the crossed out circle. So here, player six serves. The tracker writes an R on the circle, but the rally was one. The circle with the R is crossed off and rewritten right next to it. Sir six serves again, misses. Now it is the R and rotate. As the set progresses, the tracker should communicate with each other to be sure their sheets are correct and matching. So let's play out this set. Green 20, serves, misses, rotate. Yellow 10, serves, wins the rally, serves, misses, rotate. Green 58, serves, misses, rotate. Yellow 3, serves, misses, rotate. Green 48, serves, wins the rally, serves, wins the rally, serves, misses, rotate. Yellow 7, serves, wins the rally, serves, misses, rotate. Green 60, serves, misses, rotate. Yellow four, serves, misses, rotate. Green 47 has now come up to serve again. Trackers change to the red pen. 47 serves, wins the rally, serves, misses, rotate. Trackers switch back to the black pen as yellow is still on their first rotation. Yellow eight serves, misses, rotate. Trackers change to the red pen for team green. Green 19 serves, misses, rotate. Trackers switch back to the black pen. Yellow nine is supposed to serve next. However, they still have not arrived to the gym. The coach has the option to cross them off the score sheet or keep them on in case they arrive before the end of the set. If the choice is to cross them off, they cannot enter this set, but are eligible to enter in the next set as long as they stay in the same rotation, here between eight and one. Player would be crossed off the score sheet and play would continue on to the next player. If left on, play would just go to the next player and yellow one would serve next. Number nine can enter on their next rotation after eight. Yellow one serves, misses, rotate. Switch to red pen for the green team. Green 36 serves, 
wins the rally, serves, wins the rally. Now the green coach wants a timeout to settle the players. Coach signals timeout to the referee who grants it. Next to the last circle, the, tra the trackers write a T for the timeout. And since it is the serving team, no X is needed at this time. Then down in the second timeout box on the green side, a check is made. Then the signal is given to the referee. Zero yellow and two green. Green has no more timeouts for this set, but gets two if there's another set in set two. Play continues. Green 36 serves, misses, stay with red pen as yellow is now starting serve order over. Yellow 12 serves, misses, rotate. Green 57 serves. During play, a ball rolls onto the court and for safety, the referee stops play. Signal replay, which is two thumbs up. Tracker puts a P for play over in the circle and 57 will serve again. Make the circle for the new serve. Serves, wins the rally, serves, misses, rotate. Yellow 13. Toss is for overhand serve, but the toss is bad. And 13 catches the toss. Referee signals replay. A P is placed in the circle and the referee signals to serve again. Serves, again is a bad toss. Referee signals loss of serve, rotate. Players may only have one bad toss for serving rotation. Green 20, serves, misses, rotate. Yellow five, serves, misses, rotate. Green 58, Serves, misses, rotate. Yellow two, serves, wins the rally, buzzer goes off, end of set. When the 12 minutes have expired, the set is over. The referee ends the set, teams leave the court and have three minutes. During this time, the trackers complete the sheet and set up the next, sheets, the next set's sheet. On the bottom right side of the page, the tracker should circle the set number one in this case, and then sign on the bottom left side. Then give the referee uh, the sheet to the referee to sign on their line. Trackers will use a second score sheet, fill out the top as before. Teams will not switch course, but will remain on the same side for the duration of the match. This may change in the future. Since yellow serve first in set one, green will serve first in set two. If there's a deciding third set, the referee will flip a coin to determine which team serves. Serving order will begin where it left off in the previous set. So in our case here, yellow two is the last to serve in set one. So number six will be the first server for set two. However, since yellow is receiving, they will rotate after green serves. So they will start on the court with the last server two still in the serving position. On the first rotation, they will rotate to six, to serve and two will exit the court. Service order for set two for team yellow is six, 10 C, three, seven, four, eight, nine, one, 12, 13, five, and two. Green 58 was the last server, so 48 will be the set two's first server. Since they are serving first, 48 will line up on the court in the serving position. Service order for set two for team green will be 48, 60, 47, 19, 36 C, 57, 20, and 58. When the match is over and the referee has signed the sheets, the tracker should give their score sheets and lineup sheet to their coach to keep. Good luck. And if you have any questions, please contact your grade level volleyball commissioner.